Arsenal has a red card problem and it's hurting Mikel Arteta's team. On Wednesday, the English Football Association FA, announced that they were looking into a yellow card received by an Arsenal player following reports of suspicious betting patterns. Yellow isn't the only type of card proving problematic for Arsenal at the moment. Thomas Partey's red card in Thursday's Carabao Cup semi-final defeat to Liverpool was the team's 14th since manager Mikel Arteta took charge of the club in December 2019, six more than any other team in the Premier League during the same period. The context of Partey's dismissal made for even grimmer reading. The Ghanaian touched down in London at lunchtime following his country's shock early exit from the Africa Cup of Nations allowing Arteta to name the midfielder on the bench for a home second leg tie very much in the balance following a gritty 0-0 draw in the first leg at Anfield. It was a first leg result made more valuable by the fact that the Gunners had played most of the game with 10 men, following Granit Zaka's straight red, the fifth of his Arsenal career, just 24 minutes into the game. Fast forward to the Emirates on Thursday and second half substitute party was dismissed in even less time, taking just 16 minutes to pick up two yellow cards and be sent off in the game's closing stages. Granted, Diego Jota's brace had rendered party's exit ultimately irrelevant to the overall result, Liverpool's safe passage to a final meeting at Wembley against Chelsea looked assured long before the Ghanaians' dismissal, but a third red card in four matches is a glaring evidence of Arsenal's ill-discipline. We have to eradicate that completely. It means that in 2022, Arsenal have had three times as many red cards as goals, and no wins. Arsenal's discipline problem is something Arteta is keen to eradicate completely. We have played the last three games with 10 men and against top sides you can't do that because we are completely exposed, the Spaniard told reporters. It's difficult enough to beat them, but with 10 men it becomes a real challenge and it's not what we need with the amount of players we have out, not to have him available. We have to eradicate that completely. We want to be competitive. We want to be winning matches and having a good sequence of matches again, we have to stay with 11 players. Teenage Angst At 24.2 years, Arsenal have the youngest average age of any starting 11 in the Premier League this season. Following a slow start, Arteta's young side, emboldened by the dazzling performances of academy graduates Bukayo Saka and Demiel Smith-Rowe, have put themselves firmly in contention for a top-four position and a long-awaited return to the Champions League. The last time Arsenal played in the Champions League was during the 2016-2017 season. Youthful exuberance has rejuvenated an Arsenal side and fan base that had at times looked bereft of hope a few years ago, but there is a corresponding argument to say that same inexperience is to blame for the current blight of red cards. The dismissal of 24-year-old Gabriel Magalhaes during the chaotic clash against Manchester City on January 1 was a perfect encapsulation of this argument, the defender booked twice in just three minutes to put his team in the lurch after a superb first half showing against the Premier League champion. Gabriel's exit left Arsenal clinging on before Rodri's late winner for City. On the flip side, at 28 and 29 respectively. Party and Zaka represent two of Arsenal's most experienced international pros, suggesting accountability for the team's spate of red cards falls upon both young and old members of the team. It's a responsibility that Party accepts, as the Ghanaian took to social media on Friday to explain his red card against Liverpool. I, am, responsible for anything that happened and will take all the critiques, Party said. I should be more intelligent not to get in a challenge already booked but this is my personality. I like to fight for every ball. I love this club and I love my country even though things sometimes don't happen how I want it, I would continue to work harder to make things right. If you liked our video, click like and subscribe to our channel, follow the warm news on our channel.